All right, Michael Gallup is staying put. That's right. He will be a Dallas Cowboy for potentially five years. He signs a five-year deal worth $62.5 million. Correct. A lot of people were surprised by that number, but to me, five years, $62 million, that's that doesn't feel like an overpay, in my opinion, from Michael Gallup. No, yeah, it makes sense. If you even out throughout the years, then yeah, maybe he's making... A decent, he's getting underpaid from compared to a lot of other wide receivers currently. Yeah, I so think that's why it's and a five year deal. What well, the deal we just saw with Christian Kirk in Jacksonville makes this look like an absolute steal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're going to talk about how this impacts dynasty football. Michael Gallup is a cowboy, Amari Cooper is out. So, firstly, let's talk about how did this potentially change your rankings, Badaki? Yeah, look, Michael Gallup definitely moves up in my rankings. There's no doubt about it. A five year deal, he's quote unquote going to be the wide receiver too. Uh, he goes from my wide receiver 30, uh, 43, excuse me, to my wide receiver third, 37. So it is okay. a, a significant jump. But there's so much in question moving forward with, you know, Michael Gallup is, you know, his his um, injury history now with the ACL, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And then what's going to be around him? What's going to happen around him? Because I do believe the Cowboys could be drafting somebody. Jerry Jones, right. he always is known to make a big splash. Maybe he gets a Jamison Williams uh, at the late because they do have what is it, the twenty fourth first pick? round pick twenty twenty fourth pick yeah, yeah. the twenty first pick so like imagine Jamison Williams comes in or George Pickens or Jahan Dotson whatever the case may be I do believe those guys can take away value from Michael Gallup yeah. so I'm not going to be you know pushing him straight up to my rankings he's not going to be a guy that hey I am happy to be my wide receiver too I still believe he'll be a wide receiver three to four range, just really depending on what the draft looks like moving forward as we get closer. Yeah, so it definitely made me much more confident in Gallup moving forward. Mm -hmm. My confidence level raised. I mean, this is actually the ideal scenario if you think about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of us were talking about Michael Gallup going out and getting, you know, being a wide receiver too on Mm -hmm. some other team, but now he gets to stay in a really good offense and he's a wide receiver too there, right? Obviously, you know, the one kicker here, like you said, is are the Cowboys going to draft a wide receiver at 24. Yeah. I think there's other needs that make more sense for them, but it's something that we do have to be aware of. Like it, that could very much happen. Mm-hmm. So before this signing, he was my wide receiver 40. He is now my wide receiver 35. Okay. And, you know, I think he could move up rankings. This is a player who next year, I think he could be viewed in a potentially like a different light after having a bunch of vacated targets. Now Agreed. I want to just show you a couple reasons why I really like Gallup. Okay. In 2021, you know, he was injured to begin the year. But let's look at weeks 10 to 17, just this year. All right, 17th in targets during that period. He was the wide receiver 26, you know, and obviously keeping in mind that he was sharing a lot of that target share with Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb. Correct. Amari Cooper is now gone. There's 104 targets vacated now. 104 targets. That doesn't include Schultz. That's only Amari Cooper, right? So, I mean... There's a lot of uh, a lot of room to go around now for these wide receivers. And then I thought back, okay, well, so he was a wide receiver three then. When is the last time he was a wide receiver two? And that was back in 2019 before the team actually had CeeDee Lamb. Right. It was okay. Amari Cooper, wide receiver one, Michael Gallup serving as a wide receiver two, right? Mm-hmm. So he missed a couple games to start the season. Again, there's been some injury history here, right? Yeah. From weeks, but let's, let's actually look at 2019 from weeks five to 17 that's a pretty good span okay he had 53 receptions 880 yards and six tutties in that time period he was the wide receiver 13 in ppr formats and he was 12th in targets in the league okay so let's not forget when cd lamb was drafted a lot of people were like look we love cd lamb but what about michael gallup why did they make this move why you know i think that was the overall consensus from everyone in the draft community right after that move was made. Well, you don't believe in Gallup? And I think, you know, his 2019 season was a big reason why a lot of people were confused about the C.D. Lamb signing. You know, now he gets to come in, play the wide receiver two again. And it's probably more likely that C.D. Lamb is in the slot and he's kind of playing the X or the outside wide yeah. receiver. Yeah. So, look, to me, I, I, I see potential top 24 years ahead. Okay. What I'm trying to say is like this year, next year, there's potential for him to finish as a top 24 wide receiver. I think that is his ceiling. I don't I don't know that there's a top 15, a top 20 finish, but okay. I think that we're looking at a guy who's a very valuable flex wide receiver going 100%. forward. And in a lot of leagues that play with three wide receivers, maybe you can start five at a time with flex positions. Yes. I think another thing we have to 
keep in mind is that, you know, there are still a lot of big guys out there to, to get picked up. Let's remember another big yeah. signing was going to be Cedric Wilson. It was like, you know, we're, we believe in Cedric he's Wilson and Michael Gallup. Exactly. And he's already gone. So why not sign someone like a Juju and Allen Robinson, whoever else is out there? Right. Could because happen. if those guys come in, then Michael Gallup is going right back to where he was before. In, in my opinion, he could be going right back to where he was because those guys demand targets, a Juju and Allen Robinson. Maybe if a rookie comes in, yeah. it's, it's a little bit different because they're going to have to work in, you know, get get right. the rhythm with, with Dak. But these guys are going to come in and demand targets. So it's going to be very interesting as we get closer and closer to the right. season to see where we're at with Michael Gallup. Yeah, no, I get that as well. I think their <clears throat> their cap is in such an interesting position. I'm not sure mm. that they would be positioned to get one of those guys. And if they did, they would have to be on a team-friendly deal. But yeah. anything can happen. Like, it, anything could happen with these guys. 100%. So draft feels more... Like what worries me to be honest, that Jerry Jones, like you said, he's that guy who could he could splash. But like, who is you know what George Pickens? I don't care. Yeah. Come to Dallas. Who is you know? yeah? Who is one person that will come? Uh, will Dallas will draft and be like you know what Michael Gallup? It, it's done. Like, is it Pickens? It, I don't think I don't think anyone. Uh, I don't think they draft anyone. It's like okay, Gallup's done. You know, I still think okay. Gallup's going to be he's, relevant. I mean, okay. okay, let's look at last year, right? I I have the target share written down from last year. I'm trying to find out where it is, but I believe CD was leading with 7.6 targets per game. And then I believe Amari and Michael Gallup were tied at 6.9 targets per game. Right. So we still saw valuable wide receiver outputs from both of them. Mm -hmm. But if there is, to be honest, if they draft any wide receiver in the first or second round, it's going to impact everyone's value on this team. We have to, we have to be realistic with that just purely because of opportunities and target share. But I would say, you know, if if names like George Pickens, if names like Jahan Dotson, if if names like, you know, obviously Alave or Garrett Wilson or Burks, London, any of those guys, yeah, that would that would be worrisome for sure. Yeah. But agreed. Let's talk about startup drafts then, because some people are gonna be doing some startup drafts this season. Mm-hmm. Where do you feel comfortable drafting Michael Gallup? Yeah, I, I think where he's going well, he was the past couple three weeks, you know, I kinda like to look at our mock drafts. He's been going around a steal. Yeah, he's going 11th, 12th round, you know, maybe as early as a 10th. But I think 9, 10 is still pretty comfortable. I think there's still yeah. a lot of other guys that are more valuable than Michael Gallup that maybe has a solidified wide receiver two row around the 9th, 8th, 9th, 10th round. So, um, yeah. yeah, anywhere around there, just depending on your value, 8, 9, 10, I, th- I think feels comfortable for me. Ideally, I view him as a wide receiver four. I would love to have him as my fourth wide receiver on my dynasty team. That's mm-hmm. where he kind of feels comfy to me. So that's, you know, typically that is going to be around eight, nine, 10, 11. So if I can get him around there, makes sense. I, I would definitely be happy having him with, with the upside and, and the offense that he's attached to. What do you guys think about Michael Gallup? You want him? You don't? Let us know in the comments below. Yo, what's good? What Thanks up? for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos. Watch now, it. You can also subscribe. Right now. If you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm-hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.